The first scripture the Lord gave to me to speak to you is in Isaiah 45 verse 1 to 3. Listen carefully. Thus says the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus to Peter to James, to Mary, to comfort, listening to me right now. Whose right hand I have holding, the Lord said to you, in 2023, I'm going to hold your right hand. He said, I will subdue nation before you. I will lose the loins of kings to open before you to leave gates yeah. and the gates shall not be shut yeah. your gates shall not be shut yeah. the Lord say it is a year of divine access ah. to success yeah. yes. and because it's a year of divine access only him can create the road True. in verse 2 I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut it under the bars of iron. Why? I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I the Lord which call thee by name I am the God of Israel. Listen. In the year 2023, I speak by the mandate of heaven on this altar. You will not go by yourself. Amen. The Lord will be ahead of you. Amen. The crooked path in your business in your marriage, Jesus. in your finances, Jesus. in your profession, Jesus. in your career, the Lord said, I will make it straight. Amen. Yes, Lord. Whatever has been the gate that deny you access to success, the Lord himself said, I will break it into pieces. Amen. Whatever bars of iron that has made life so difficult and hard hey! Baba said I will break the bars of iron into pieces Amen. then he said I will give you the treasures of darkness can I hear somebody shout it loud amen. amen it doesn't matter how difficult the year will be there will be treasure available for you for you there, for you there, for you there, there will be treasure. Somebody shout treasure. Ha. He says, I will give you the hidden riches in secret places. Now, that's why he is creating the avenue. That's why he's creating the avenue. He's creating access. The access is created by him. Because he knows we are the hidden riches. Child of God, there are hidden riches in Nigeria. It's not abroad. It's here. Yes, sir. Yes. If you shout amen, you will have access to the hidden riches. Amen. Yes, Lord. In Isaiah 60 verse 11. Isaiah 60 verse 11. He says, Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. Somebody holler, Amen. Amen. Hey, there is a gate. There is a gate. Somebody say, There is a gate. There is a gate. And God, as should say to you, this gate will be open continually. Amen. Ah. Yes, Lord. Why? 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 He says, they shall not be shut day or night. Yes. Amen. Ah, 
Why? Look at what it says. That men, 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 men will bring to you the wealth of the nations. Oh, Balika Tala Brada Bada. In the year 2023, as tough as it sounds, as tough as it looks, men will look for you. Man. They will deliver to you their wealth. Amen. If you receive it, you will say it. I receive it. Yes. Ikaparapotoko say. In Isaiah 22, 22, Isaiah 22, 22, you must, you must pay attention. And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder. So he shall open and none shall shut. And he shall shut and none shall open. In Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, This thing said he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of death, he that openeth, and no man shut it, and shut it, and no man open it. Listen to what God said to me. He said to me, I will give you the mystery key of David, if I hear you say amen. Hey, Jesus. It's a mystery key. There are doors you are going to open in 2023. Amen. With this key, with this key. It said to Peter, I give you the keys of the kingdom. And he says, whatever you bind with this key is bound. Whatever you lose is loose. But here he says, it's the mystery key of David. That whatever you bind in 2023, any door you shut shall be permanently shut. Amen. If you shut the door of poverty, it is permanent. Amen. If you shut the door of sickness, it is permanent. Amen. If you shut the door of retrogression, it is permanent. Amen. If you shut the door of witchcraft attack, it is permanent. Amen. When men are looking for key, they will arrive at the door and they don't know which key. Just one key of David. Mm. It's a mystery key. It's a mystery key. He said, you will open what the enemy closed. Then you will close what the enemy has opened. If I hear somebody shout loud, amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. He said, when you shut, no man can open it. This is the year your tongue is your weapon. You wake up in the morning, you seize the day, you decide what the day will be. Yes. When the God is talking of divine access, he's talking of mystery entrance into the presence, entrance into opportunities, entrance into men of wisdom, access to men of wisdom and ideas, men of influence. In this year, you will encounter such men in the name of Jesus. Hey, man. Hey, man. I give you the last words and I begin to decree upon you. Le katarabuzizu. Zende la pula ka legedulu. Suarata kia leketia. E kataba. Men succeeded in shutting door against you in 2022. In 2023, you will be the one to shut the door. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. You will be the one to open the door. Amen. Jesus. This is the year you will manifest 
as a child of God. Amen. Yes, I believe it. In Matthew 16, 19. Matthew 16, 19. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now, why he's giving us this scripture is because it says the year is divine access. Somebody shout divine access. Divine access. To success. To success. Don't forget success is not a destination. Success is a product of many activities.